The other day, I was perusing through my room, looking for something, just anything to do. I was bored out of my mind. And I came across something on my desk. Now, this is something that's going to take us all back quite a little bit. And that is the DS. Now, this specifically is the 3DS. It might be the 3DS XL, I'm not 100% sure on that. But it made me realize that I wanted to go down this memory lane, remind myself of some things, remind you of some things, and just share a little bit of nostalgia with you. So, we're going to start with a couple of games that I've bought more recently because I originally had a Nintendo DS Lite, then a DSi XL, the Mario version, and then I had the 3DS probably about four or five years ago now is when I got it. And shout out to the guy that I got it from. He gave me an amazing deal. He gave me a bunch of games with it. It was a military person. So we salute the troops. Big shout out to you because I still love this system. And as of recently, I've bought a couple games for it, starting with the Lego Star Wars 3. That would be the Clone Wars. Now, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, not 3, is one of my favorite Lego games of all time, and it's up there for my favorite game of all time in general. I have not played the third one yet, but clearly I am trying. If you saw my PS Vita video, it makes an appearance there as well. We will go back to, of course, the DS, but we've got a kind of compliment sandwich, sandwich it here. We've got Indiana Jones, the original adventures. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there were more than one Indiana Jones Lego games. There's at least two, I think. And finally, Beyblade Metal Masters. Now, I don't know if you saw that show, but I'm a big fan of Bla Beyblade Metal Fusion. I remember it from when I was growing up. It is an amazing game show, and... Honestly, there was like Beyblade and there was Bakugan. Nowadays, I think I would prefer Beyblade simply because I realized Bakugan is very long. I think as a kid, I just liked the individual episodes. I love the Bakugan game. It is so much fun. The red one, I know there's a green one and a blue one, but I like the red version. And most likely we will run into that game or I actually think it might be in one of my systems currently, we'll see. There's Batman DC Super Heroes. I like to get a lot of Lego games because they're just simple to play on handhelds. So that's why we're going to see a lot of Lego games. We've got Mario Party, the top 100. It wasn't until recently recently that I got into the Mario Party games. It was actually a buddy of mine that got me into it, and they're really fun. I just, I grew up, my older sibling is much older than me, so we didn't really have that vibe. We didn't have that connection where we were playing games all the time, but, you know, when I did play it with friends, I had a ton of fun with it. Next, we get into a couple of Legend of Zelda games. This one is the Majora's Mask 3D version. Majora's Mask. Majora. Majora. Majora's Mask. And, of course, following it up, we've got two more Legend of Zelda games. We've got a Link Between Worlds, and we've also got the Ocarina of Time 3D. Now, I would love to tap on every single game, but we would be here all day if I did that, so let's reserve it for 
a lot, just not all. Here we have Pokemon Omega, Omega, Omega Ruby. This is one game that I bought that I meant to get into as soon as I bought it, but then I didn't have time, and then eventually I ended up playing Pokemon Emerald. And I also ended up playing Pokemon Sword. So it just kind of got to the back burner. I actually, if I'm not mistaken, Ruby and Sapphire, yeah, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. This is Gen 3 just like Emerald is. This is just the newer, cooler version, I believe. Don't hold me to that, I'm not a Pokemon expert. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure, I'm a pretty sure guy. I've got Pokemon Sun and Moon as well. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Sun and Moon. Moon and Sun. Moon and Sun. And as you can see, it says right there. Pokemon Moon Pokemon Moon Pokemon Moon And of course the other is Pokemon Sun just with not without the original artwork which is unfortunate because the artwork for Moon is so cool and we got the basic GameStop look Speaking of GameStop, look, we've got Legend of Korra, New Era Begins, and that completes the just sheer amount of cases I have, so next I want to just tell you about the DS itself. The DS, I remember getting when I was super young, it was a DS Lite, it was the Black Edition, and it was pretty much a game changer. Up to that point, I had a PlayStation 2, and that was it. My dad was kind of a gamer when he was younger, but not, not nearly as much as I've grown into be. But it was amazing, and when the DS came out and I was able to play it on long car trips, play it at home... I remember when I got Pokemon Pearl, that was, I believe, my foray into the Pokemon space outside of old VHS tapes. And if you don't know what that is, my god. Oh no, NG Willikers. Now, the first thing that we see when we open this up is we've got the a button, the B button, the Y, and the X. Now, those are all standard DS game buttons. You've got the start, you've got the select, you've got the D-pad, but something we didn't have in those early days was this analog pad. We, we had to play this thing kind of like a PlayStation 1 controller. And I mean, honestly, for the DS, all you really need is this D-pad. All you need is the D-pad. Now, with the 3DS did come the introduction of the 3D graphics, which you can turn on on the side. And then you can, of course, control the volume on the side of the top screen now. I believe on some versions you have to turn it on on the bottom, and some of them it's on the left of the bottom screen. And, of course, we've got the stylus. The stylus. The stylus. Which, if you've owned a DS, you 
probably had to buy a pack of stylus. Styli? What is the plural of stylus? We're gonna say styluses, but I'm pretty sure that that doesn't feel right. And then, of course, you've got the game cartridge right here. Now, you thought that was it. I mentioned in the beginning that this was a sandwiched video. We were going to start with some games. We're going to look at some more games. We had the DS in the middle, and then I'm going to take you all the way back to when you had to have a carrying case that wasn't just like this DS game case that I have in my hand. This is a... This is my game case that I bought recently. I was running out of space in my original game case. It's a lot bigger, but it wasn't like the best for storage. But it got me through many, many years. There we go. In here, let's read these off. I've got Super Smash Bros. and 3DS, Super Mario, the uh, Mario Party Top 100 game, The Legend of Korra game we spoke about previously, Lego Batman 2, Lego Lord of the Rings, Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Past, Ocarina of Time 3D, and Majora's Mask 3D. Those are all the 3D games I've got here on the top rack. And then we've got the ones on the bottom. Some of these are some original, some of these are recently bought. I've got Spongebob, Atlantis, Square Pantis, G-Force, GoldenEye 007, which even at the time that I played this, I liked it, but I feel like even I underrated it. And there's Ratatouille, Monsters vs. Aliens, Pirates of the Caribbean, Drawn Evolution, Brain Age 2, Justice Heroes, Justice League Heroes, FIFA Soccer 06, and right here we have Guitar Hero on Tour. Now, I do have another Guitar Hero, but it's currently in my DS Lite, but that is the game Case. Those are all fantastic games. I have, if you didn't realize, I loved movies growing up, I still love movies to this day, and my game collection kind of shows that. Just off the top of my head, I could name tons of games that I have on more recent consoles, like PS5, I recently bought Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, originally launched on the PS1, but they brought it back and I paid like five bucks for it. And it still has the cheat codes in it, which is fantastic. Because if you've ever tried to play that game, and you haven't heard in my other videos, it is a pain in the butt to finish that game without any cheats. Because infinite health means you can't die. Next up on the docket, we've got the game case. The game case was absolutely essential when the DS was about a couple years in. Maybe for some people it was essential right away. I had a much smaller DS case when I first got it, but I ended up getting this bigger case. I remember exactly where and the price of it. This was $25, and I remember the exact store that I got it into. So funny how these things come full circle. I played this as a kid, I played as an adult, and also I record ASMR videos with it. Now, upon opening it, we can see I've got some Bakugan cards in here, but I do want to point out some games that I've got. I've got Pokemon Pearl, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Mystery Dungeons Explorers of Darkness. I've got Pokemon Black 2. I've got Pokemon White, Pokemon White 2. 
I've got sun and moon, as we previously talked about. I've got Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes, Lego Star Wars, I believe this is the complete saga. This is the complete saga. Three, the Indiana Jones. I've got Omega Ruby here. And then we get into some of the games. I did mention this one. It is the Red Bakugan game. I cannot... I believe it's just called Bakugan Battle Brawlers. It's an amazing game. If you like Bakugan, you'd love the game. Now, that's not to say that Bakugan... This blue Bakugan game. Let me look. I genuinely can't read that. It is too dark, but there was a, another one, which was the green Bakugan game. And then I have Mario DS, Animal Crossing, the Carnival games. I remember as a kid playing the Carnival games, and actually I kind of loved it back then, even though it was like a pain to do really well. There's the new Super Mario Bros., a game called Farm Frenzy, which if you know, you know, kind of a goaded game. Not much talked about today, but Farm Frenzy was kind of like Himothy back in the day for me. And finally, last but so much not least, we've got Nintendogs. Nintendogs, I have the Lab and Friends edition. There were a couple editions. Let me know down below which one you had. Because that was the game that I truly spent a ton of time on. I did become a bit of a, com like, money hungry in that game, but it was only so I could buy more dogs. So don't hate the player, hate the game. And that is, that is it. That is all of the DS stuff I have right here. Like I said, I still actually have my DS Lite, and I have the Guitar Hero set up with it. I've got the DSi XL, and I've also got a second 3DS that I use. It's the better of the two. It's got, I believe it's got the OLED screen. Something about the top screen is better, but I digress. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. It helps me more than you can imagine, more than I could have ever imagined when I first started. Click subscribe if you really liked it. If not, I'm surprised you made it to the end and I still welcome you and thank you. I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, and or night.